Absolutely. Uh, Michigan, I think they're second or third in the conference in defending the pass. They're up near the top of the league as well in scoring defense. Uh, from what you guys have seen on tape, what kind of things did they do defensively that are going to try to make your life uncomfortable this Saturday? Um, yeah, Michigan, they have a great defense. I think um, every great defense starts up front. Um, and they got like uh, two really good DNs. I think they have like, a sack every game. They help their, their defensive backs a lot. I think their defensive backs are really good. You know, they can get man. They do a good job with disguising the zone. And, um, you know, we just got to prepare and find, you know, things that make them uncomfortable. So, you know, we'll try our best. Um, first, I just have a quick one. Are, are you at all aware of uh, the records that you are about to break um, at Maryland with passing yards and things like that? or? Do you not even know? Okay, <laughs> fine. Um, um, my second question is just with the offense in the red zone. Um, after watching tape, I mean, what are what are you working on um, trying to improve decision making and, and things like that when you get down close to the end zone? Yeah, like you said, just decision making. I think twice, um, two times, two weeks in a row, I turned those in, in the red zone. You know, that's not good. That comes down to decision making and stuff like that. So. I mean, this past one was just, you know, didn't recognize the linebacker. He dropped right under the post route. And, um, you know, hats off to him. But, um, yeah, we just got to find ways to get in the end zone, you know, especially if our defense like, is getting turnovers and putting in some good field position like that. You know, we got to help them out and score in the red zone, whatever it takes. Talia, you're still very young in your growth and your progression as a starter, right? I think it's you know, 10, 12 starts or, or what have you. As as you look, you, you're obviously looking at one game at a time, but as, as you kind of maybe step back every so often and look at how you've progressed over the course of the last couple of months, how do you feel more comfor uh, comfortable and confident now than you did maybe two months or even one month ago as far as the throws you're able to make, the calls you're able to make on the yeah, I feel more comfortable. I think that's what comes with, you know, experience. The more you play, you know, the more you see things, the more comfortable you get. And, um, yeah, I mean, I feel more comfortable in the pocket, escaping, standing plays and stuff like that. But, you know, the biggest thing is I'm just trying to help our team win. And that's the biggest thing. But I think the more I continue to play, you know, the more comfortable I get. And like I said, every week I'm learning new things, defenses, and stuff like that. What is the coldest game game temperature that you've played in? I think this past game was up there. It was real cold. Um, I say Northwestern. It was windy. Um, my first game over there. Um, other than that, I mean, I played some cold games in Alabama, like in high school, but there's no way near the Big Ten. Was it cold enough to affect anything about ball grip, or did you think about putting a glove on, or how do you get ready for that? Um, I mean, like I said, I, I played a couple cold games in Alabama, and, you know, throughout the week, it's kind of cold around here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it affects any grip or anything on the ball. Um, I don't know how to use no gloves or, or sleeves or anything like that. So I think, you know, it gets cold when you're on the sidelines, stuff like that. But, Hey Talia, um, for a lot of the seniors, you know, this is their last chance to play at home, possibly lock up, you know, bowl eligibility as well. I believe Coach Lassley said that I've never really seen a bowl game. For you, does that add a little extra pressure um, for this Saturday against Michigan? Um, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say pressure. You know, it's just more so, um, you know, we gotta we, we try to win games. Like you said, it's the last uh, game for our seniors at home, and you know, it's going to be a special one. And, you know, that's that's just the biggest thing. You know, they they're the leader of, of this team, and um, they impacted my life a lot. And you know, it, it'll mean a lot, you know, for for us young guys to you know send them out the right way for the bowl game, and you know, winning their last time is a grand show. So.